If you don't know about me, I used to be a huge underachiever, but through obsessive self-improvement, I found my success. Earned a college scholarship, played for my national futsal team, a YouTube channel with over 100 million views. I've helped players worldwide, and I'd love to help you improve faster and achieve more. My name is William Oluremi John. I'm a professional soccer player. I have technically played professional soccer on four continents, and now I play in Europe for ropes in the Finnish Super League. We're gonna talk a little bit about how to become a professional soccer player. More specifically, this is not gonna be a video about how hard you need to work, what you need to eat, when you need to work out, and all those things, okay? If you don't know already that you need to work hard in order to become a professional athlete, uh, then you've already lost. This video is for people who are outside of the market, I mean, of any age, of any age, okay? And regardless of your country, okay? Things will change. Uh, depending on what country you're in, but I'm going to try and give you some guidelines that way you have an understanding of what you can do. First things first, let's talk about what you will find if you do a search on how to become a professional soccer player. Uh, something you're going to come across are open tryouts, combines, maybe some of these European tours where they will take you with a possible chance to play in front of uh, some coaches from some European teams. There's no guarantee that you will get a contract out of these. You are going to be spending a lot of money and your time uh, on transportation, food, and certain fees that they will make you pay. These are, in my opinion, not the best way to go about it. It's actually probably the worst way to go about it because everyone has an opportunity to get these and they're not exclusive in any way. And there's no guarantee that the coach even has to look at you at all. Uh, I also Googled the costs uh, for some open tryouts in the MLS. And, uh, Seattle Sounders is $150, LA Galaxy is $175, and my hometown club is Sporting Kansas City. They charge $258, and they top out at about 200 people per tryout. So that's 258 times 200 people, that's about $51,600 which they've made in two days. You know, so it makes perfect sense for them. They already have the field. They're not gonna pay for your food. They're not paying for your hotel if you're coming from outside, okay? And there's no guarantee that they have to give anyone a contract at all whatsoever. So it makes sense for them, okay? And you need to understand that clubs have their own channels and their own ways of getting players, and this is not the best way for them to do that. If you have the money to do this, by all means, go for it. But there's a better way, and I'm gonna explain that a little bit later. Let's say you want to just contact a club yourself and tell them you're the player that they need to win the championship. Let's just have a look at what DC United's policy is because they do not have open tryouts. And if you go to their website, you can read. Uh, I will send the better in one day soccer blueprint to anyone who comments hashtag soccer on this video. Uh, the first team does not hold open tryouts, but does invite players for trials. Inviting a player for trial is extremely rare and usually only after the team has scouted a player with their current professional team which means you're not getting in because you're not a professional okay unsolicited requests for a tryout are not accepted please do not call asking for a tryout an individual that would like to make their abilities known to DC United's first team should forward a copy of their resume and DVD material submitted will not be returned if the first team is interested, they will contact you. And in bold, please do not call us or send a message inquiring about the status of the materials you submitted, okay? So if you're curious as to what's happening to your DVD when DC United gets it. If you want to improve faster and achieve more this season, Use the Soccer Success Planner. It's 100% free. Players all around the world have already used it to improve. You can download it right now. There's a link in the description below. Now, I could be wrong. I could be completely wrong. They could have an intern there sitting down and uh, watching every minute of every DVD in order to check and see if they haven't missed something. But I highly doubt it. Yeah, those options are out. You're going to need an agent. The reason for this is that an agent is in the system already. He knows coaches, he knows scouts, he has other players who are hopefully in some of these teams that you want to be on. Don't get confused. Agents are very much in this to make money. 
as much as it is many players dream to become a professional, they don't necessarily share that dream for you, especially if they think they might have to work very hard. It becomes a little tricky, and if you're a parent and you have a kid who, you, who, who aspires to be a professional, then I'm gonna try and give you at least an idea of how to make this uh, work for you. So some rules, never send money to, a, to a, an agent uh, ever on any condition. There are no agency fees. The only time you need to be sending an agent money is after he's gotten you your first contract uh, and you guys are talking about 10%, 15%, whatever it is. You know, before that, never send an agent any money ever. Secondly, agents are, at the beginning, not your friend, okay? They will tell you anything, so you need to do your own research on the agent. If you Google uh, FIFA player agents, all right, you're going to find a list of agents that have passed some tests and licensing. They have uh, recognition by the, by the Federation. Make your videos as professional looking as possible, okay? Because if they click on the, the YouTube link and they can't tell which player you are and they can't see it very well, they're just not gonna look. It's very important, okay? Because they have plenty of players to choose from and if you don't make it easy for them, why should they care? You're also gonna need a CV or a resume and you wanna keep this as simple as possible, okay? Your name your age, uh, where you're from, which passports you hold, okay? Uh, what position you play, your dominant foot, all right? And uh, when you're listing which teams you play for or have played for, you wanna put your statistics there, your goals, games played, and hopefully that gets you an idea of how to get started. I'll definitely make another video about the other things that you're going to run into. This should be enough to keep you away from uh, wasting your money and wasting your time and uh, getting you a chance to just get on the field and do what you love. From moving up divisions to making national teams, players who use the online soccer academy get results. Access elite level coaching and training, become a complete player, make a difference on the field and get noticed when you play. Limited spots available, apply today, start improving tomorrow, link in the description below.